When we go out and we chat with people, sometimes we wish we could take it to a more profound level. Here's two ways to do it. First of all, we can offer to pray for people. How can I pray for you today? This may be with somebody that you see every day and maybe with someone that you've just met. It doesn't matter, but it takes the conversation a little deeper, doesn't it? And when you get that opportunity, it, it causes a spiritual bond between you. It's good to have that in a relationship, whether it's long-term or short-term. Here's another way that you can express this kind of spiritual concern. You can say, may I speak a word of blessing over you? Especially if they've been talking about some challenge or difficulty before them. You can speak words of blessing in regard to that. They'll be glad to hear about it, to hear words of blessing wash over them. We don't often get to hear that. It can be surprising the impact that words of blessing can have sometimes. I happened to meet somebody recently in a grocery store. Let's say his name was Joe. And I'm chatting with Joe, mostly I'm listening. He's got a lot of things on his mind. And near the end, he says he's got to be going. And it's been an all right conversation, but it felt more one way than two way. But after he takes a few steps away, for some reason, I call out loud enough for other people in the store to hear, Joe, God bless you. And you know what happened? Joe stopped dead in his tracks. He turns around, he smiles at me, he comes back, and he starts conversing in a much more equal kind of conversation. He asked me for my business card. He wants to know more. It was a surprise, all because I said the simple words, Joe, God bless you. Or sometimes what we pray are words that just come to us that we're not expecting. For instance, I was praying for someone about their husband who was in the role of a peacemaker in a deeply split family. And they were all feeling kind of on edge about do we even want to get into the middle of this, of this problem. And so his wife asked me to pray about that. And as I prayed, I wound up saying things that I didn't plan to say. I didn't have any written prayer in front of me of any kind, but I said those things. And they came out and they seemed good at the time. But later on, a day or two later, they called me up and said, what you prayed was exactly what was needed. And what you prayed was exactly what took place in that conversation. And it led to a greater level of reconciliation in that conflicted family situation. When we offer to pray or to speak words of blessing over people, and we just let God give us the words. It's astounding what God can do because God loves to answer prayers and he loves to bless us. Thank you, Lord.